Running injuries are often caused by muscle imbalances, movement deficiencies, and or running technique. And running assessments are the best way for us to analyze your movement and running to find out what's going on and why you're getting injured. If you've ever been curious about getting a running assessment and wondered what's involved, let me show you what we do at PhysioFit from start to finish. When you first come in, we'll sit down and spend some time chatting about your running history, your injuries, and most importantly, your training goals. This part of the assessment gives us an opportunity to get to know you better and understand where you've come from and what you want to achieve. After that, we'll have a look at how you move. Here, we start with some basic range of movement tests, see how well your spine, hips, knees, and ankles move, and check to see if there are any significant restrictions in your movement. We'll then get into some more challenging strength and stability tests. We'll look at how well you can balance on one leg, whether you have any stability or balance issues, and if you can control your balance with some more challenging movements like an arabesque and a hopping drill. We'll also look at your knee and hip stability with lunging tests and single leg squats. Here, we want to see if you can control the movement of your knees and hips and make sure that they don't collapse in. We can also make sure that your left and right leg look the same during these movements. And after all of those movement and strength tests, we'll get you on the treadmill and look at how you run. While you're running, we'll take lots of videos from different angles and look at a bunch of specific elements of your running gait. We can check to see how your foot is landing, so we can pause the video at that exact moment of landing and look at the position of your foot, and importantly also where it is in relation to your knee and your hip. We can also check the angles of all of your other joints at each phase of your run, so we can really analyze what your hips knees and ankles are doing and find any faults within your running gait. Some of the other things that we also look at in this running analysis is the position of your pelvis. So we can check this from the side view and also from the back. We can see if you're tilting your pelvis too far forward or back, or if your pelvis is dropping to one side. We'll also check how well you're moving your upper body and if you're bouncing up and down too much when you're running. So basically, we'll closely look at every element of your running technique and then spend some time going through all of these results together. By the end of the running assessment, we'll have a really good understanding of how you move and how you run, including any strength deficits or issues with your running technique. And from all of that, we can then come up with a plan to fix any issues, strengthen any imbalances and improve your running form. So that gives you a good overview of our running assessments. If you want to improve your performance and stop getting injured, book in for your running assessment today.